Ambassador of the Dominican Republic. How do you do? Welcome, Mr. Ambassador. Welcome. Pleased to have you here. And Mrs. Leon. How do you do? Great to see you. And Miss Salvina Bonetti. Hello there. And Maria Bonetti. We don't have any children, so that's why we're here. Well, I think that's fine. You and I will go in front of the fireplace, exchange our documents, and uh, have a picture taken. And then you will all come in and have a picture. Yes. Won't you uh, come in and join us? Yes. And if 
you give a twenty, so it'll be a prettier picture. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Well, President, well, how are you, sir? It's so good to see you. Pleasure. And Madame Rivas. Hello there. See, this yeah. is one father who's been dying for me, Joe. <laughs> nice to see you. 
Yeah. My daughter Gloria, hello. My granddaughter Elisa, and their mother Maite. Hi, very nice to meet you. This is this is the the banner day in their lives. <laughs> so it was a very nice day for me. But you and I will go over in front of the fireplace, all right, sir. And uh, then you all come in later. as a national year of thanksgiving. The first act of the English settlers was to fall to their knees in gratitude. Surely, we above all people have reason to be thankful. Immigrants through the ages have voted with their feet that America is the greatest nation, is the greatest place on earth to live. The early settlers came to this country to escape the dominion of men and establish a nation whose model is in God we trust. In their Declaration of Independence, they pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor for the inalienable rights such as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They implemented these rights in the Constitution and further defined them in the Bill of Rights, guaranteeing the people freedom of religion, speech, assembly, and the press. Because of his constant acknowledgment of the intervening hand of God, President George Washington led the nation to the successful conclusion of the resolution revolution, the writing of the Constitution, and the establishment of our constitutional <coughs> government. It is particularly meaningful that you, Mr. President, are signing this proclamation on the anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birthday, eight score and 18 years ago. Television specials and tributes to the armed forces and the fraternity. Some gentlemen go. You, you can go to, you can go to Japan to live, but you cannot become Japanese. You can go to France and not become a French, to Greece and not become a Greek. He went out to several countries. But he said the miracle is anybody, anybody in the world can come to the United States and become an American. And a good one. Yeah. 
That's a good one. Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. celebrating our 50th anniversary this year. And I hope you can take that. And this is a history book, Return to Big Grass. Big Grass was our first project 50 years ago in Manitoba. And this is a book about the history of Ducks Now it's so, 4 million acres of wetland. Right. Out of the United States and Mexico. <laughs> and 600,000 members. Right. We're very proud oh, of that. I'm pleased to have all of this. Thank, Thank you very much. We had to get a group photo holding the uh, all right. Here we go. Okay, you want to move in a little closer? Yeah. Thank you. 
if you met with this group uh, about a month and a half ago, and uh, well, I don't have to go around and introduce them all to you now, but uh, also in the room today are the members of, of our staff who have been uh, mainly responsible for putting together all the thoughts and ideas that have come from people like this around the table. Uh, I'd also like to uh, introduce uh, Bob Helms from Health and Human Services and John Bodie from the Department of Agriculture. Uh, I think you know them already, but they will be our lead testifiers when we start going to, to Congress with this because I, I can't go up there and testify to be happy so, uh, because of the, where I am in the White House. So, um, with that the opening, uh, Mr. President, uh, what uh, uh, I think we want to get into. Uh, First of all, from Attorney General Meese, uh, how we got here very briefly, and then I want to ask some specific strategy questions so that you can get some answers from these experts. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like my rules, make an <laughs> <laughs> Well, should emphasize state and community initiative. You also said that we should build into any reform ways to help families become economically self-reliant. Listening to you all, I was so impressed that I believe I said right then and there, your way was the way we had to go. So here we are again, and your ideas have become our program. As you know, we formally released our welfare study up from dependency this week, and soon we'll be submitting legislation to the Congress. I've invited you here today to ask you how we can rally support for our proposal and persuade the Congress to make it the law of the land. So I'm going to ask Attorney General Abel to review for us how far we've got and how we've gotten this far. Mr. President, the, uh, the starting point for this really uh, 